freeze warning in effect, frost advisory in effect for the four southern counties. You got to bundle up this morning. It's cold out there. We have temperatures in the upper 20s and low 30s this morning, a little bit cooler than yesterday. Our Doppler scans the state dry. Let's get on the bus, roll out the bus. Don't be late for the bus. Temperatures this afternoon are only going to be between 43 and 47 for the recess. So kids are going to need a jacket out there, a coat. 50 to 51 for the ride home. That's below average by about seven degrees. Old Saybrook looking good this morning. You can see a little bit of a breeze in Old Saybrook. And that's making it feel a little bit cooler. Not too substantial, but yet it's still blowing around out there. Calm winds in Hartford with a temperature of 32. So we're a little bit shy of the typical overnight low in Hartford. The normal overnight low is about 36 and it's 32 right now. New Haven 36 right at the mark where we should be. And you can see the uh, great visibility all the way in the distance there, the Sleeping Giant State Park. So we've got some real good visibility this morning. 26 now in Litchfield. Ooh, that's cold. That is cold. 28 in Plainfield, 29 in Bristol, West Haven at 35. And you can see we've got 27 in Willimantic. Yesterday, there were no 20s on this map. Everybody was in the 30s. This morning, a lot of towns in the 20s. You've got Putnam, Willimantic, Norwich, Meriden, Salisbury. Everybody's in the 20s, if not lower 30s, maybe some mid to uh, upper 30s in Bridgeport, but that is the exception. And we are down again. We've been down every single morning this week, and that is the case again this morning. Anywhere from 4 to 5 degrees cooler than just 24 hours ago. Again, the winds are fairly calm out there, which is good news. Now, the temperature trend has been going down. Sunday it was 68, fairly mild. 60 on Monday, 57 on Tuesday. That's the average. And then 53 yesterday. Today, we're going to be between 46 and 53. So it's going to be cooler yet again today. There's the spread. We break it down for you with uh, golden sunshine. But some clouds are going to start to filter in by later on this afternoon. And that's the result of a storm system that's going to be going by to our south and east. Now, that storm system is going to bring cloud coverage, but no rain. So it's good. Clear and cool to start. Downright cold out there. Partly sunny during the day today and cool and sunny tomorrow. There's that uh, cloud coverage, that shield of clouds that we're talking about. It's all, again, associated with this storm. This is going to intensify as it moves out over the open waters of the Atlantic, but it's going to, again, stay to our south and east, and that is according to Futurecast tomorrow's weather today. So let's bring in Friday. We're good. Friday morning. Today we're good. Tomorrow we're good. And then, we're, you know, all eyes have been on Sunday. We've been watching the storm system for Sunday. Here's Saturday looking pretty good with sunny skies and fairly comfortable temperatures in the low to mid 50s. And then Sunday, the clouds are with us throughout most of the day, but the rain stays at bay. And that's good because it is the New York City Marathon this Sunday in New York City. So it looks like the rain holds off, and that's good news. Temperatures today top out in the upper 40s, low 50s. And then your uh, seven day forecast includes moderation, but we got to get there first today and tomorrow and Saturday. Cool a little bit better on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We're talking about temperatures in the low to mid 60s. Looks like a real nice stretch of weather. Uh, today will be uh, partly to mostly cloudy by this afternoon, but we clear things out tonight. Tomorrow looks great.